Let's prepare a sodium fusion extract of thiourea. I have taken a piece of small piece of sodium metal and thiourea in the ignition tube and first I am heating gently such that the sodium metal melts and fuse with the thiourea and then I am heating strongly and then you have to transfer this hot ignition tube into the china disc containing few ml of distilled water and then boil the content over the burner and filter it with the help of funnel and filter paper. And the filtrate is called sodium fusion extract. I have taken this sodium fusion extract in three test tubes. In the first test tube, I am going to add ferrous sulfate salts into it. An appearance of black color is due to the formation of this ferrous sulfide and when the concentrated sulfuric acid is added into it, the Prussian blue color will not appear and that indicates the absence of nitrogen in thiourea. And now I am going to add sodium nitroposide solution into the another test tube that is the second one. And after adding sodium nitroposide solution, a violet color solution will be obtained and this will confirm the presence of sulfide ion in the sodium fusion extract of thiourea. Now in the third test tube I am going to add ferric chloride solution and after adding this ferric chloride solution into the third test tube appearance of blood red color will confirm the presence of thiocyanate ion into the third test tube due to the formation of ferric thiocyanate complex which is red in color and this purple color is due to the formation of sodium sulfo nitroposide which is purple in color. Now I am diluting the mixture with the help of distilled water such that the color will be observed properly. Now add some more distilled water into the second test tube and here you can see the appearance of violet color into the second test tube after adding distilled water and this is due to the formation of sodium sulfonitroposide and this will in this way we can confirm the presence of nitrogen as well as sulfur in the given organic compound that is thiourea.